At the height of strained relations, China said that it would evacuate its citizens, stranded due to the lockdown in India. We would begin the process from next week, as our citizens are facing difficulties, China said. Reports said that China has arranged flights from Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata to Shanghai, Chongqing, Jinan, Guangzhou and Zhengzhou, starting from June 2. The Chinese embassy on its website asked citizens wishing to return to book themselves on the flights. India says that it would facilitate the return of the Chinese citizens. This development comes in the backdrop of ties between the two nations soaring in the wake of the border face-off. The standoffs are due to Chinese troops infiltrating into Indian territory in parts of Ladakh. This resulted in a standoff at five locations. Even as both sides are locked in a war of words, India has rejected allegations by Beijing that the Indian troops were responsible for triggering tensions. The Chinese have in fact hindered Indian patrols, India has further said. Meanwhile, the Chinese military has been fast increasing its troops in areas around Pangong Tu Lake and Galwan Valley along the line of actual control in Ladakh. China is trying to send a clear signal that it is not ready to end the confrontation with the Indian Army. The Chinese side has increased its presence in the Galwan Valley and has erected around 100 tents in the past two weeks. It has also been bringing in machinery for possible construction of bunkers, despite the stiff protest by the Indian troops. In this backdrop Indian Army Chief, General M. M. Narabane paid a visit to the headquarters of the 14 Corps in Leh and reviewed the situation with the top commanders.